Chloe back on the Pampered Pony vlog and today I am giving you three tips if you want to ride but don't know where to start or how to afford it for our third vlog. Okay so to start number one barn work in exchange for lessons. If you want to ride horses but can't actually afford um, monetarily to pay for them Pay for them in work. Barns are always looking for people to muck out stalls, to groom horses, maybe just to bring in horses in the barn and out of the barn, stuff like that. So if you want to take lessons and it's just not really in the cards financially, talk to your local barn instructor and see if you guys could work something out where you could, I don't know, groom 10 horses for every one hour lesson or something of the sorts. But um, in the end, just make sure you talk to them. Ask what they would be okay with in exchange for you getting to ride. What do they want? If they, if you were to ride for free, what would they want in return? So, make sure you check that out. Number two, be an exercise rider. You can do so many things with this. Honestly, so many things. First of all, you can just literally get on a horse and ride it. They just want this horse to get a workout, whether it's a 10 mile walk, or if you go in the arena and walk trot canter, I don't know, for 30 minutes, three laps each way, whatever. That's up to the horse's owner, but you get to do the riding. So you're getting to ride for nothing as long as you have, you know, the basic equipment. You get to ride. As long as you have the basic equipment, you get to ride kind of for nothing. And if you're lucky, they might even pay you eventually. Number three. This is the longest one that we'll talk about today because it's a biggie. When I was five, I wanted to start riding. And I couldn't. I didn't get to start riding until I was ten. Ten. That's five years that I couldn't ride. Um, I didn't have my own money to pay for it at the time. Um, my parents weren't interested in me riding horses. My parents weren't interested in horses, so this was all nothing to them. They weren't going to throw me out there on a horse I know, so I had no choice. I was not allowed to ride. So what did I do? I got books, and I watched videos. Not really, I didn't watch videos. YouTube wasn't a big thing back then. Um, but... Anyways, I got books. I have so many books. And I'm actually thinking about doing a review over some of these books because they were so helpful to me before I could ride. Um, when I was five, I read just little horse books just around about horses in general. As I got older, I started reading bigger books on training horses, what disciplines I could do, what kind of horses existed in the world. There was so much to learn. And then... This reading habit kind of continued until I was older, and then I read really, really deep books about many different horse topics, about health care, um, breeding, so many different things that you would not even guess. And it's really helped me learn so much. Even now that I have three courses, I still go back to these books. I have one book in particular I always go back to. I need more information from it all the time. There, It's called The Horse Lover's Bible. And it literally, my six-month-old fault. I don't know when she needs her vaccines. I don't know what vaccine she needs. This book has all that information in it. And I didn't have to uh, pay for it. I've already bought the book once. It's always there for me. It gives me so much information even now. So, if you can't afford it, if you can't get transportation to the barn, if there are just too many obstacles, that might be your personal scenario, and that is okay. Own it, but don't let it hold you back. Go get books, read, go to the library. If you're watching me on YouTube right now, I know so many other vlogs that are out there about horses. Look them up and watch them. Just watch them. It will teach you so much. And so then one day when you actually can ride, you'll be way ahead of other beginners because you're not really a beginner intellectually. You might be physically. You might have no idea what you're actually doing when you get on the horse. But you're going to understand more things about the horse. 
You'll probably know more about its anatomy. You'll know more about how it moves. You'll know its different gaits. You'll know the horse's temperament if you read up on breeds. So many different things you can learn. So just pick up a book. There is no reason for your not being able to ride to limit what you know about riding. You can learn so much and I encourage you to do so until you can ride. You'll thank me for it later because it will teach you so much and you'll be so far ahead.